Welcome to Eat the Planet. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to identify poison sumac. This is one of the most misidentified plants that I've seen on plant identification forums. I know poison sumac is something you would never forage and this is a foraging channel, but it's still important to be aware of what kind of hazards are out there while foraging. But fortunately, most of the time, people think they found poison sumac and actually they're looking at something different. This behind me is not poison sumac. This is a plant that's commonly misidentified as poison sumac. So I'm in Connecticut and poison sumac is not commonly found here at all. I've only seen it once. And uh, usually people are looking at something else, they think it's poison sumac. Um, I double checked the USDA range map for poison sumac and it looks like it's not common anywhere. It can be found anywhere uh, in the eastern United States along the coast, Florida, um, the southern United States on the east, um, but it still doesn't look like it's super common anywhere other than individual localized patches in certain places. I'm going to go over the identification features such as leaf morphology, the um, identification of flower and fruit clusters, and I'm going to show you what is not poison sumac first and show you how you know it's not poison sumac. Then I'll show you at the end what is poison sumac and how you can identify that. Um, one big way to do it is just to rule everything else out. Um, so the first most important thing is that poison sumac only grows in wet environments, very wet, like swampy areas. So if you've got most people's typical uh, yards in the suburbs aren't in swamps. So if you think poison sumac's growing in your yard and it's not a swamp, it's probably not poison sumac. The other thing is that poison sumac typically is seen at a height of around five or six feet. It can get up to about 20 feet, but it's typically seen at a lower height. Um, so if you've got a gigantic tree that's 20 or 30 feet tall, it's probably not poison sumac. So I'll start by telling you what this one is behind me and how you can identify it from poison sumac. This tree is called Tree of Heaven. This is a very common weed tree in the United States and the Eastern Coast and very common in suburban landscapes. And it grows very quickly. Um, so it's prominent. Most people see this tree on a regular basis and this is the number one tree that's misidentified as poison sumac. I'm gonna zoom in on a leaf so I can show you the difference between this and poison sumac. So these are three different leaves from the Tree of Heaven. You might think that I have branches down there, but each one of those is actually one leaf. The first thing to know when you're identifying poison sumac is how to identify a compound leaf and not just a branch with a bunch of leaves on it. So over here I have a, uh, the top of one of the small trees. And the way to identify a leaf is that you look at the base and see if there's a bud for next year. And there, there is no bud for next year. If you look close enough, you'll find out there's no, no bud right there. So that that I cut off was only part of a leaf. It was not the full leaf. So all these are called leaflets. They're part of a larger leaf. So way down at the trunk, you can see that the bud for next year. So the bud for next year is right there. You can see it coming out. So that is the leaf. That's the base of the leaf right here. So that's one leaf. So now you can see that these on the ground are all single leaves. They're called compound leaves. So each little part that looks like a leaf is a leaflet, all making up the full compound leaf. So I'm gonna start with the smallest one. So that was the newest leaf on the Tree of Heaven. Again, this is all Tree of Heaven, not Poison Sumac. So Tree of Heaven has a lot in common with Poison Sumac, and I'll point that out first. Uh, the red stems, are also a feature shared with poison sumac, although poison sumac tends to have smaller red stems, they're skinnier. And when you look at the leaflet margin on one of these leaves, there's no serrations, it's a smooth margin. With the difference being on uh, Tree of Heaven, there actually is one tiny serration down here that's common on the leaflets. So at the base of that leaf, you have a little serration right there. That's common for Tree of Heaven, both sides of the leaves. Uh, they can be bigger or smaller, they do vary, but if you look at a leaf, look at all the leaflets, you'll see a bunch of these serrations right at the base of the leaf. Poison sumac does not have that. So that's one really good identification feature, and just that will help you identify the difference. Another important factor is that if you 
crush up a leaflet and smell it, which you would not want to do unless you were pretty sure it was Tree of Heaven and not Poison Sumac. Um, Tree of Heaven has a distinct smell. I've heard it described as like rancid peanut butter. It's a weird smell, but once you smell it, then you can every time, um, maybe if you break a leaf with a stick off, you can smell it and then you'll be able to know it's Tree of Heaven and not Poison Sumac. So now that you know what a compound leaf is, uh, there's another factor that's important when identifying poison sumac, which is whether it's an odd or even numbered compound leaf. So you can see that there's a leaflet right at the end. That means it's an odd numbered compound leaf. If you count the leaflets, it's odd numbers. Poison sumac is odd numbered, but if you ever see a compound leaf that looks like that, and there is no leaflet right at the end, then you're also not looking at poison sumac. This is another plant commonly misidentified as poison sumac. This is a walnut. I'm using the word walnut, but it could be anything in the walnut genus, juglans. Uh, this is probably a butternut. Um, so let's go over the identification features and you'll quickly see that this is not poison sumac. First of all, there are small serrations on the leaf margin. Uh, that shows you it's not poison sumac. And one feature we did not go over yet is the tiny hairs on the branch. Um, Tree of Heaven and Poison Sumac and another plant called Smooth Sumac all do not have hairs. If you see tiny hairs on the plant, you're definitely not looking at Poison Sumac. Uh, but the compound leaf is the same. The leaf uh, ends right here. So this entire thing is one leaf. So it's still a compound leaf that at a distance might look like poison sumac. Here's another tree that gives me an example to show you uh, another feature that can rule out poison sumac. This does look like poison sumac superficially. You've got the thin red stems. You've got no leaf serrations. Um, this tree is native, but it does not grow commonly here in Connecticut. This is the Kentucky coffee tree. So there's a couple of features right off the bat that show you this is not poison sumac. One is that the leaflets are alternate. They come off the branch um, at alternate sides, not directly across from each other. Poison sumac, you'd have two branch, you two leaflets right here coming across uh, from each other. You wouldn't have them alternating. So that's one important thing. The second one is if you went to um, see if this was a leaflet or a leaf, you'd follow down to here and find out there's no bud there. So the Kentucky coffee tree is what's known as double compound. That means um, there that the, this whole thing is a leaf, and off of each leaf comes stems, and off of each stem comes your leaflet. So the leaflets don't even grow off the main stem of the leaf. They grow off the side stems. Again, this is all one leaf. This is not multiple leaves right here. Here's one more thing that may be worth mentioning. It's kind of obvious, but... Um, so the side, this is a, uh, what's co commonly called mimosa, but it's not in the mimosa genus. Um, the size of the leaflet matters. So these have very small leaflet sizes. That's how, that's one reason you know it's not, um, poison sumac. But there's other, uh, trees like locusts that have leaflets that are just smaller than poison sumac. So the, uh, leaflets on the poison sumac are about the same size as the tree of heaven. Um, but they're not small like this. So if you see something with a small leaflet size on a pinnately compound leaf, it's not po uh, poison sumac. So the only other plant I'll mention right now that could be mistaken for poison sumac is smooth sumac. That's a true sumac, and it has serrated leaf margins. So you'll see the difference there. It does not have smooth leaf margins like the poison sumac. Um, that smooth sumac is a true sumac. The uh, Tree of Heaven is not a sumac at all, even though it's often called sumac. And uh, the Poison Sumac is not a sumac. It's in the Poison Ivy family. It's the same irritating oil that Poison Ivy and Poison Oak have. So, he, so I'll show this picture of Poison Sumac that I took a couple years ago, and you can see all the features we talked about. The smooth uh, leaf margins, the thin red leaf stem, and the other thing we didn't talk about yet that you, you will notice is that the uh, flower clusters are small, whitish, greenish flower clusters originating on the interior. They don't originate at the tip of the branches. They originate at the interior. They get about that size that you see in the picture. 
And when the berries form, they're whitish berries, and they tend to droop downward. So, if you're in a swamp, and you see a pinnately compound plant with smooth leaf edges, with a thin red stem, um, it could be poison sumac. Even more so if you see the uh, flower clusters coming out from the interior, and you see the uh, berries hanging down a little bit, then you're likely looking at poison sumac. Otherwise, you'll find some identification feature that rules out poison sumac. It's likely smooth sumac, tree of heaven, walnut, staghorn sumac, Kentucky coffee tree, maybe some kind of mimosa, or, or things that are commonly called mimosa, which could be in a different genus. Uh, you might be looking at a black locust. Uh, more, uh, all those trees I mentioned are much more common than poison sumac. Um, and they're, they all have different identification features that will rule out uh, poison sumac.